welcome back to Kavanaugh's Corner. Today on the channel, we're going to be talking about a film that was recently released on 4K. This actually originally came out on 4K a while ago as part of uh, Sony's Columbia Classics collection, these big box sets that they put out all the time. Uh, sadly, that box set came and went, and now it goes for a ridiculous amount of money. And this is a film that I think a lot of people wanted to own uh, that weren't able to get that box set. And I'm glad that it finally got a standalone release, and that is, of course, Taxi Driver, the Martin Scorsese film starring Robert De Niro in a role uh, that is just unbelievable. I mean, this is really one of the greatest character study films ever made, if not the greatest, honestly. And it's a very, very dark, very shocking film um, but it is one of the greatest films of the 70s, in my opinion. And everybody in this is fantastic. Harvey Keitel, Jodie Foster, Peter Boyle, Sybil Shepard, uh, Albert Brooks is in this. I mean, there's a lot of fantastic actors that really just bring it in this film. I mean, every performance is incredible. Um, a lot of unforgettable moments. And it's, it's really just a, a, a masterpiece, honestly, of cinema. And uh, this is an all-new 4K steelbook here, and I'm going to take the little slip cover off. And this is the front artwork, that is the back artwork, and then on the inside, we have the two discs over here. And there's Travis with his mohawk, a very scary sight there. And then there's the 4K disc and the standard Blu-ray as well. And this has uh, an all-new 4K remaster. It's a uh, 4K native uh, digital intermediate, and it also has Dolby Vision HDR. So today we're going to be talking about the picture quality, the audio quality, and the special features. Um, but before we carry on, I just want to say thank you to all of those that have subscribed recently. If you are a lover of physical media as I am, and just film in general, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out a lot uh, because this film, uh, again, a lot of these movies that I review here are not sent to me uh, by studios. I end up buying most of these. Uh, every now and then I'll get a movie in from a studio and I'll make it known when I do that. This one was bought with my own money, so again, really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. That's a big, big help to me. So anyway, to jump right into the review here, the picture quality on Taxi Driver here is really something else. Uh, Sony was really going for a very true to the original look of this film uh, type of remaster here. The first thing that really jumped out to me is that there is really no DNR used on this at all. So no digital noise reduction used at all. It is a medium to heavy film grain, and uh, it really does keep the look and that grittiness of this film that it really needs. And I'm glad that they did that. I am a fan of leaving film grain in uh, to a transfer because it really does help keep the overall definition, depth, and just look, overall look of a film. Uh, it really keeps it that original look. Um, I do know there are a lot of people out there that do not like film grain. Again, I am not one of them. I loved seeing film grain, especially on movies that were shot on celluloid. Uh, there are some sequences that do have a little more than others, but the picture quality on this is not affected in any way, shape, or form by it. I love the look of this film. It is a very dark film, and I'm very glad to say that the Dolby Vision HDR on this really does help those black levels a lot because this movie gets very, very dark. There's a lot of nighttime scenes. There are a lot of dark interior scenes or dimly lit scenes. Uh, there are a lot of interior shots of, you know, the taxi cab that Travis drives throughout the film. And those scenes now look so much better, so more balanced than they were before. Uh, there is, you know, some loss of detail here or there, but I'm more led to believe that that is actually true to the original negative with this film, because this movie has always been very, very dark, and we can finally get those black levels 
where they really should be, uh, and it's glorious to see. But I do recommend you do watch this movie in a darker room, uh, not a brightly lit room, especially if you have glare or something on your television, because you are going to have a hard time seeing stuff in certain scenes. Uh, so definitely watch it in a dark room uh, like you should for most movies, uh, but this one definitely more so than others. Dolby Vision also does an amazing job of really enriching all the colors that are in the film. Uh, this movie, even though it takes place in a very stark, you know, city landscape, it is very, very colorful at times. Uh, in one scene, actually a couple scenes, Travis wears like this red corduroy sport coat. And that red now really jumps out at you. It's almost like a maroon, honestly. Uh, detail level is very high in this. And you can really see little details that you were never able to see before. Uh, you can tell when Travis has not shaved. Uh, you can see, like in that, that course, that famous, you know, you talking to me scene. You can really see uh, just how thin thin Robert De Niro was. I mean, it was obvious before, but now you can really see the detail on his body, and it's it's kind of terrifying, honestly. Uh, but the whole movie is like that. You really get more of a sense of this gritty landscape that this movie takes place in, that New York City in the 70s, a grimy kind of kind of landscape really, really jumps out at you now. And uh, the colors are very natural, uh, but they do look more accurate, better overall in every way. Uh, the colors really are an amazing thing to see in this, uh, much better than any previous transfer that I have seen. Even on Blu-ray, it's a, it's a step up. Um, so those are all really big, big things. Uh, the daylight scenes also look very bright and vibrant now. Um, the daylight scenes now have a more sense of life to them than they did before. They are very, very accurate, and the brightness level in those scenes, in stark contrast to the nighttime scenes, are really kind of jarring now, but they look incredible. And thanks to that HDR, they are able to be brighter, and uh, the colors are more accurate than they ever were before. So it is really an incredible transfer, but uh, just keep in mind that it is very, very much the original look of the film, and it's a gritty, you know, almost nasty kind of looking film, but it really engulfs you in the overall experience. Amazing job from Sony with the transfer there. Just incredible stuff. Now, as for the audio quality, the audio on this does come with a 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio, and also a, a mono track, a DTS HD mono track, which is pretty much the original theatrical audio. I watched it with the 5.1, and as far as I could see, it's pretty much the same 5.1 mix that was on the previous Blu-ray release. It sounds really good. Uh, sound effects are placed perfectly. Dialogue is crystal clear. Bernard Herrmann's score, which is just haunting, uh, sounds amazing in that 5.1 mix. I did switch off to the mono uh, for a couple scenes there just to see how it handled. And again, it's very clear, it's very accurate, and everything is balanced very well. So you can't go wrong with either one of them. I tend to prefer the 5.1 in this case just because things are spaced out just a little bit better, especially in that final scene uh, that that shootout sequence, which is just really brutal. Um, that that sequence, that confrontation scene, uh, again, going back to the picture quality there, that scene, you can really tell ha that drainage of color is much more apparent, and the scene just looks darker than it ever has. But on the sound side of that sequence, the audio, to me, just seems to be a little bit more directional and kind of intensifies the the action of that sequence. So, it, it, you know, it's it's dealer's choice, really. You know, whether you go with the surround or the mono, uh, you can't lose either way. Now, in terms of special features, Sony actually did put uh, multiple special features on the 4K, as well as the standard Blu-ray. Now, 
The 4K does have a Making of Taxi Driver documentary. It's a little over an hour long. Very good documentary there. Very in-depth going through the filming of the movie, the post-production, pre-production, everything. Um, very, very good stuff. It is older, um, but again, great that they included it here. There's uh, some storyboard comparisons uh, with Martin Scorsese introducing them. Uh, some photo galleries and a 20th anniversary theatrical trailer. So that is really, really nice. And on the Blu-ray disc, there is a 40-minute Q&A about Taxi Driver that was at the uh, 2016 Tribeca, Tribeca Film Festival. Pardon me there. Uh, that little featurette there is really interesting to see all these actors and actresses and filmmakers uh, come back all these years later talking about the film and the impact it's had on their career. Really, really interesting stuff. The Blu-ray also does come with a commentary uh, from director Martin Scorsese and Paul Schrader that was recorded for the Criterion Collection Laserdisc way back when. I'm glad they included that. Uh, there's also a secondary commentary with Paul Schrader and Professor Robert Kulker. And that's more about uh, characters, the writing of the film, than anything else. But again, very fascinating. That's more on the psychological side, if you're looking for that type of commentary. Uh, there's a featurette with an interview uh, with Martin Scorsese talking about Taxi Driver. Uh, there's an interview with the producers of Taxi Driver talking about the making of the film and the production of it. Uh, there's a, another featurette called God's Lonely Man. Uh, Taxi Driver Stories, uh, another one called Travis's New York, Travis's New York Locations, where they go and actually visit the various locations. Those uh, two featurettes about New York during that time period, very eye-opening uh, if you're not familiar with how wild uh, New York City was during the 70s. It's really, really impressive stuff. And a tribute to Martin Scorsese called Influence and Appreciation, as well as a theatrical trailer. So all those features, uh, that Blu-ray disc is pretty much the older Blu-ray that came before that has the 4K transfer in 1080p. In my opinion, if you like this film, or if you're just a Martin Scorsese fan or a fan of film in general, this is a must-buy. I absolutely loved this 4K disc of Taxi Driver and all its supplements. Very, very impressive stuff all around. Um, one of the more natural straight-ahead transfers I've seen in a long time. Uh, they really did not do a ton of tinkering with this transfer. And that's the one thing that I really appreciate is that they kept everything pretty much the way this movie looked. Now, if you want to pick up Taxi Driver on 4K. I'll leave a link in the description below that goes to Amazon. If you use that link, it does help me out a lot here on the channel, and uh, I greatly, greatly appreciate you watching. As I mentioned earlier, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so I can bring you more content like this. Until next time, I wish you guys all the best. Keep collecting, stay safe, and take it easy.